The idea behind today was create a high-end fashion shoot. Nice, clean styling, uh, no bold colours, black and white, and then really bring out uh, the detail in the hair as well. Lots and lots of strong shadows with a clean background. The styling team came together really, really nicely today. Christina and Sadie all drew the whole concept nicely, and we had a nice mix of detail in the hair with clean lines in the clothing and nice, strong lips and smoky eyes for the makeup. We stuck with quite a simple five light setup today. We used two background lights basically to create a nice gentle gradient to contrast against the clothing and the model. And then we thought about using hard lights. So we used a snoot with a key light and a secondary snoot to bring out some of the detail of the clothing. Finish then with a hair light directly above the model. As with all my shoots, I set up a metre the key light first. I've positioned this off camera axis at about 60 degrees to short light the model. I'm using a snoot as a modifier, which produces a really hard spot effect and lots of deep shadows. It also creates a really nice contour around the jawline of the model. The snoot is perfect for really strong shadows, concentrated power output and relatively good control. Positioning this off camera axis and up high helps me to throw the shadows downwards, control the spill light and short light the model's face for maximum effect. Due to the concentrated light, it can be occasionally difficult to meter with snoots, so be sure to double check your exposure using the histogram. Yeah, we decided on snoots as a bit of a change simply because it created more of a retro feel and we could kind of concentrate on creating strong shadows and deep shadows and it helped bring out some of the shape and the angles of the hair and of the clothing. In addition to the key light, I'm also using a second snoot. This is here to partially fill the shadows, but also list some of the detail further down the dress. The primary use of the second snoot is to draw out some details in the dress but also lift some of the shadows. This has been positioned lower down to reduce shadows and keep the fill light flat, avoiding cross-lit shadows. We then sort of thought about, okay, the model's moving around a lot, what should we use? So rather than using something like a maxi light reflector and a grid that creates quite a narrow beam of light, we used a beauty dish fitted with a honeycomb. And this facilitated a bit more movement from the model, so it allowed us to, you know, get a few different moves and a different positions to get the best shot. Using a boom stand has enabled me to place a hair light directly above the model without intruding on the frame. Due to some of the hairstyles involved, I needed to cover a larger area, while still maintaining control of the light. A white beauty dish fitted with a honeycomb grid was ideal for this, providing an even and controlled light that was sufficient to light all of the hair and the shoulders. The power will also need to be adjusted to suit different textures and finishes of the hair. For the background lighting, I positioned a high performance reflector on each side of the background paper. I then metered these equally to create a nice smooth gradient. Position both lights on each side of the model and at an equal distance from the background. For most of my backgrounds, I use the high performance reflectors as they create a broad, even spread of light which can be directed more accurately than a softbox. You can control the depth of the gradients on the background by adjusting the pitch of the background lights. Tilting them upwards will create a lighter background and less of a gradient. It's important to remember though, although I use the Creo generators and the Gemini Pros, that you can achieve the same effect using the Gemini 200s and Gemini 400s. The really important thing is to get the right modifiers, to get the right shape and do the job properly.
Well, that's our shoot complete. Thanks for watching this fashion lighting tutorial. I hope you found it really useful and you'll be able to apply some of the techniques you've seen here today in your own photography. My name is Christian Huff. Don't forget to look out for more great lighting tutorials from Team Bowings. I'll see you next time.